Are you looking for a lightweight and cross-platform video player? Of course, on Linux, the best thing we have going is VLC. VLC is a fantastic multimedia player, also available on Windows or Mac, so it's cross-platform, but VLC is very feature-rich, and because of that, for some people, VLC would be classified as bloated. <laughs> so you want something a little more lightweight, but also cross-platform. Have you heard of Movie Monad? You probably haven't. I haven't heard of Movie Monad before today. So let's take a look. So, Movie Monad. Let's take a look at their GitHub page. Uh, of course, because of the name Movie Monad, you probably have already guessed that Movie Monad is written in the Haskell programming language. Uh, monads are a feature of the Haskell programming language, and that is how Movie Monad gets its name. It's how X Monad gets its name, is because X, the X graphical server in Linux, and Monads are, again, part of the Haskell programming language. So, Movie Monad here at their GitHub page is Movie Monad, the free video player I've been looking for. Looking at some of the features, it says Movie Monad is cross platform, so you'll never have to watch without it. I only run Linux, so that's not something that, you know, uh, would entice me. But those of you that run Windows or Mac machines, as well as Linux machines, uh, that of course is a big plus that it's cross platform. You can stream videos from the web or play files stored on your computer, play, pause, seek, repeat, resize, expand, turn it up. You know, so all your standard video player features, you know, your very basic stuff is all here. And which for me, somebody like me, all I need is just a basic uh, video player. I don't need, you know, the kitchen sink with my multimedia player. So what does Movie Monad look like? According to the screenshot here, very attractive, uh, written in Haskell. How do you install it? I installed it through the AUR because I run an Arch based system. Movie Monad is in the AUR, but you really don't even need to fool with the AUR. Movie Monad has an app image. App images should work on every Linux distro, so pull down the app image. If you prefer flat packs, they have a flat pack over on Flathub as well. And again, if you prefer snaps, <laughs> Movie Monad is available on snaps at Snapcraft. And if you're on an Arch based system and you just prefer to compile it from the AUR, it's in the AUR. I'm sure you could build this thing from source if you would rather go that route. You could also install it probably from Stack or from Cabal or, you know, one of the Haskell uh, package managers. So you can get Movie Monad on any distro out there, no problem. For me, I, I would just go with one of the uh, kind of distro agnostic platforms. I'd get the app image flat pack or, or snap pack, depending on what you like. One thing you might have to be careful of is Movie Monad being written in Haskell. You're going to have to pull down the Haskell libraries, the Haskell compiler. So it does have some dependencies, of course, uh, if you don't already have Haskell on your system. Because I am using xmonad, the window manager written in Haskell. I already have Haskell on my system, so really no real dependencies for Movie Monad that I didn't already have on my system. So I'm good there, but for those of you that are, are going to wonder why the download might be a little bigger than normal is because Haskell. Especially those of you that may do this in one of the containerized formats like Flatpak, Snappack. So let's take a look at Movie Monad now that I've installed it on my system. If you've installed it on your system, how do you launch it? Well, depending on what package format you use, what distro you're running, what desktop environment you're running. If you're running a standard desktop environment like GNOME, KDE, Mate, XFC, search through the menu system for a program called Movie Monad. Uh, if you want to launch it through a command, the command is movie-monad. You can type that command in a terminal or a run launcher, a D menu, Rofi. I'm going to use D menu here and type movie-monad. And this is movie monad out of the box. <laughs> uh, nothing obviously is playing, so the window is empty. Other than that, you have this open uh, dialogue at the top where it says load a video you click that and of course it's gonna pop up with a little file browser you go and search through your directory structure find a video somewhere on your system to play and launch the video the only other thing you have other than the open dialogue here is 
the movie monad logo you click on that and it's basically the about page uh, really love the artwork really like the logo <laughs> really good branding with movie monad uh, movie monad want to help out with movie monad start on github thanks for helping out you rock <laughs> nice little about page to give you some information about uh, feature requests bug reports and of course getting information about new releases other than that very very minimal other than the open box here uh, the open dialog uh, there's no file edit any of that you know no standard menu system of, of any kind on the system the only thing you can really do is go open a video so let's do that because of YouTube and you know the potential of getting a strike if I play the wrong video <laughs> I'm just gonna open one of my videos so I'm gonna open some uh, video I, I recorded recently this is a mp4 so this is a mp4 format here and there it's playing uh, I'm got the volume turned down the desktop audio turned down in OBS hopefully you guys can hear it a little bit but hopefully it's not too loud I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work recording it because I am not previewing this audio <laughs> so I can't hear it uh, again hope the video turns out well but anyway so if I take the cursor and move it over movie monad you see I get this little control box here or play pause uh, repeat uh, we have a volume control if I click on it you can adjust the volume uh, we have a full screen to go full screen and then we have this drop down I guess for common screen resolutions, screen sizes so if I click on I don't know 12 well, let me see 1280 resizes to 1280 if I go to 1024 <laughs> resizes to 1024 of course you're not limited to those standard uh, screen resolutions being you know a, just a standard kind of window you can resize it whatever you want it <laughs> any resolution you want to go to and then the last uh, little drop down you have is slow normal and fast so that's for playing speed so if I want to go slow I can drop this down <laughs> to go really really slow so I'm gonna pause that now so it works right it's very minimal uh, by the way if I move my cursor off of the window let me let this keep playing move my cursor off the window watch what happens to the controls wait a few more seconds the controls disappear also the open dialog at the top disappeared once again I'm gonna move my cursor off the screen and wait a couple of more seconds and all of this should just go away and then that's that's a very clean UI right <laughs> nothing is there other than the video again there's no any kind of menu system at the top uh, really nothing to this at all I kind of like it it's, it's quite minimal in design and, and for me I would be just fine with this as a my movie player you can of course use movie monad to launch files on your system through the terminal and let me zoom in here so you could type movie dash monad space and then the path to a file on your system so and yeah let's see let's play that if I launch that in the terminal yes so you can just movie monad path to file you could also play anything from the web uh, if you got audio somewhere on the web you could do that again in the command line so here is the path to one of my files that I've got on the internet so this is playing something that I've got hosted on a s3 bucket so <laughs> now controls for movie monad very intuitive there's I mean there's not much again to this program uh, if you want to mute the sound M of course for mute you can unmute with M I think the up and down arrow keys also adjust volume you can go up for up and volume down for down in volume um, I, if you want to scroll through the video I think the left and right arrow keys will go forward and backwards some other keyboard commands uh, spacebar toggles play pause so if I spacebar toggles pause space again toggles play so that is movie monad a pretty neat little lightweight movie player I just came across today is it gonna be my movie player of choice I don't know uh, kinda neat UI I, I kinda like it it's very clean it's written in Haskell 
I already have Haskell on my system, so the dependency-wise, not a big deal for me. Might be a big deal for some of you guys. If you don't have any other Haskell programs on your system, you know, that's kind of a big requirement. You know, the Haskell programming language and the Haskell compiler. Overall, though, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll probably keep it on my system. Before I go... This show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Douglas, Dylan, Leo, Rob, Robert, and Tony. They are the producers of the show. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without them, this show would not be possible. Show is also brought to you by all those ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the screen, each and every one of them. They help support my work over on Patreon. They are the supporters of this channel. I want to thank each and every one of them. If you would like to support my work, please consider supporting DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.